Hi, I'm Art Kaplan. I'm at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine, where I run the Division of Medical Ethics. Sadly, I don't have to remind viewers, we have just seen an explosion of gun violence in the United States over the past year. I mean, it really is worse than it was even four or five years ago. Children obliterated at a number of schools, attacks on grocery stores, churches, and as many of you know, in hospitals, in clinics, uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, an angry patient went and shot a surgeon and others uh, that because he felt unhappy with his orthopedic uh, back surgery. And there have been many violent outbreaks against healthcare workers in many other places around the United States. This has led to all kinds of debates, as we all know, about what to do about guns. Should we ban assault weapons? I lean toward thinking that probably is a good policy. I understand fully it's a policy we're not going to follow. There are areas, though, where I think we could get agreement and get legislation at the state or federal level. One area I think is discussion by doctors about guns. Remember, the largest number of people killed and harmed by guns are suicide victims. Another significant group are children where data show that it looks like kids, the biggest cause of death for those say under uh, 18 is no longer car accidents or other uh, diseases, it's guns. So I think all doctors, pediatricians and others do have an obligation to talk about guns with their patients. There are a number of key questions I think they should be asking because there are 400 million guns in this country and uh, a lot of the deaths that are taking place are due to improper storage, carelessness, not talking to kids about what to do if they see a gun. Now I'm fully aware that many of you have no time to talk about much of anything with patients. I hear complaints all the time that You've only got a few minutes and you got to prioritize whatever the ailment is or the problem is that brought the patient to uh, your care so that you can address that. If you do have more time, I would urge some discussion of safe gun storage. Is there a gun in the house? Do you keep it locked? Do you keep it in a place where kids can't get it? Do you ask about whether the kids' friends have guns and whether they keep them safely stored? Are you in a situation where you can basically talk to your kid about what to do if they see a gun, don't touch it, who they should notify, who they should tell? Those are all very important questions for gun safety. They may not stop you know, a mass shooting at a church or a, a elementary school, but I think they go some way toward trying to reduce harm from guns. The other major thing that I think we need to be thinking about uh, very hard, weighing in as guns as a public health problem. I've seen too many discussions from emergency room docs, trauma docs saying these powerful automatic weapons, they're so powerful when they're shooting children, they just destroy them. You can't even recognize them anymore. Uh, these are weapons that are very, very difficult, if you will, to uh, repair wounds if you get shot as a kid, a 60 pound kid, a 70 pound kid, you're gonna die. Doctors, I think, have an obligation to weigh in about the costs of doing nothing about gun policy, not trying to, if you will, uh, ask for background checks, trying to have uh, laws that require reporting when people worry that someone might be violent, better mental health surveillance and education. Again, these are, incremental steps, but we might be able to get them through if we really watch the toll attributable to gun violence. So what happens in terms of deaths, maiming injuries, time in the uh, hospital that is taken up with trying to uh, care for extremely badly injured people, and the threat that these weapons even pose to healthcare providers and the worry and fear that they instill if you're working in a place where you shouldn't have to worry about such things. So I do think there's a frontline role conversation when you can do it and a public policy role, just saying, here's the deaths, here's the injuries, here's the fear, 
These are the reasons we need to make some incremental progress on reducing gun violence. That I think is the responsible stance to take. I don't think we're gonna get bans. I don't think people are gonna be asked to turn in all their weapons. That's not the United States. But we can take some small steps and I think healthcare and medicine and nursing can step in and help us. I'm Art Kaplan, the Division of Medical Ethics at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine. Thank you for watching.